So I'm here with Vicky. Vicky from Honkers Pub and Eatery, correct? Correct. Absolutely. And I really appreciate you joining this program today. It's, I don't know if I told you this over the phone actually. Um, did I tell you the name? It's, that's all the listing, like uh. helping. No, how did you put it? Well, I, I decided to call it Encourage. Encourage. Yeah, okay. and so did you ever watch the show Entourage? No. Anyway, weird show kind of back okay. in a little while, so it's kind of a carbon copy of that, but I, it, it's intended to be an entourage of entrepreneurial advice um, and just kind of meeting people like yourself that, you know, been around been there. and can pass some really good uh, advice on to either aspiring uh, entrepreneurs or, you know, people who've been around for a long time that mm -hmm. just uh, aren't thinking about something, you know, know. maybe they're stuck, we right? You can all, always learn. There's always room to learn. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So just to open things up, how long sure. have you been around? Well, I've been around a long time. Uh, my first business, I was actually only 25. So oh. way back when I started a catering company, Pellet yeah. Pleasers Catering Company. What, what was it called? Pellet Pleasers? Pellet, Ple yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, Pellet Pleasers Catering. Oh. Knew nothing about <laughs> catering. No, my girlfriend was a chef and she said, do you want to get in business? I said, sure. But we were also both working full time. So that was a real interesting way to step into business she goes yeah i'll cook and you can help market and organize sure um that's knew, cool knew nothing about it but that's sort of my first uh, step into the hospitality world no so way. we did catering for birthdays we did breakfast in bed so we'd had a we didn't have a venue we yeah. went to people's houses or their oh. um you know a different venue yeah. that they rented so we just rented a kitchen a commercial kitchen and that's we cool. worked before during lunch after work <laughs> <laughs> and just kept doing it and then realized that we needed a turnkey um, so that the catering that we were doing, we were actually able to use the product. So let's say we did right. a wedding and had a you know, great big turkey and roast beef. Well, it'd be awesome to make sandwiches the next day, but we didn't have yeah. a, another business like a little restaurant. Right. So then we were looking for a restaurant. So when we found um, the restaurant that Honkers is in right now, it was only open for a year. And Whoa. that's how Honkers began is because we needed a venue and then incorporated the catering and the pub and eatery together. No way. So yeah, I've been how, around so a how, long a, time. A year, so it was a year before you oh, started? Oh no, like I, that's like, that was probably 35 years ago. So oh. I did probably did that for 10 years while I was working wow. at the TV station and the exhibition and yeah. Wait a minute, you were at the know. TV station? Yeah, I was at Global, like <laughs> Lethbridge Television years ago. No way. Yeah. What did you do there? Go. Promotions. Really? Mm hmm It was awesome. Frick, see, I learned something new today. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was fun. That was, a, that was so much no fun. No wonder you like marketing. I <laughs> love marketing. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I walked into there and said, I want to work in promotions. They said, yeah, good luck. <laughs> you need to go to school for two years. I said, I don't got time to school. Just show me what to do, and I'm going to work there. He goes, bang. Yeah, bang. And I go, you're working reception. Sure, put me in reception. <laughs> so I started in reception, and I started asking all the salespeople, I'll help you. What do you want me to do? Oh. I'm answering phones, but you know what? This is kind of boring, and I want to do. Yeah, yeah. I want that promotion job. So, show me. You're I, you're I a go getter. Sales, I was so, doing sales promotions, but yeah. <laughs> so that's that's my belief in business. If you really really want something, uh, go for it, right? I, I don't really think anything has changed for you. No, I'm kind of a go getter that way. Yeah. I highly believe in education. T trust yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Both both my children are both went through the university and are both successful. Yeah. Um, my my uh, oldest son is in finance in Toronto, and my youngest oh. is an accountant here in Lethbridge. So finance, uh, that's probably because I hated finance so much. <laughs> that like, maybe, do that. Do, do that, that one. <laughs> Just you cannot be a bar owner because you need a life. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of how it happened. And, you know, I always encourage people to, to live out your dream. And, and you might get to some closed doors and oh, say, yeah. hey, like, like I did. I was working at the exhibition. Uh, in agriculture, yeah. even had my own secretary, and I left that job to work at the TV station to be a receptionist because my Ooh. eyes were on the promotion job. I wanted to work promotions because I knew of a uh, wonderful guy, uh, Kendall Gibson, who was a manager there, great guy, and I said, Kendall, I, said, I want to work there, and he goes, you need to really go to college and go for two years. I go, I don't got time. I'm older, and I, I'm, I, I can get this thing. And he goes, okay, you need to work hard. And then I was just, because I was there, right time, right place. It was before they were union. I went to work early yeah. in the morning and lunch hour, and I watched all the newscasts and everything on my own time, not expecting any pay <laughs> or nothing. 
And I understood the TV station and how it ran. Well, promotions was promoting the TV station. Well, you were learning. I was learning yeah. it. So when the job came up, he, they said to me, yeah, you could get this job, but you have a nine-month promotion. You, you know, if it doesn't work out yeah. in nine months, you're out. I said, got a deal. Yeah, let's go. So let's go, <laughs> you know. So just, I just push people. You, if you got a dream, try it. Well, right? small, small world. Because I bought Art Rages from Ken. I know. Right? Yeah. Well, his son, I guess. Yeah. But Adrian. Yeah. 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 I know. Wow. It's Lethbridge, a small world. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. So it's crazy. crazy. I know. That's so crazy. So. That, that's li like, I met him through, well, I, I knew Kendall. Yeah. Then met Adrian because he would come to me when I was literally by myself mm -hmm. uh, doing graphic design work. Yeah. And then he, and then one day he walked in and I was like, hey, you wouldn't be willing to sell Outrageous, would you? And he's like, uh, I don't know, maybe. And about two weeks later, he's like, yeah, I'd consider it. Because <laughs> it was only the bathroom. Well, right? it was only the bathroom ads, right, at the yeah. time. And, uh, but that's how I saw it. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm doing this graphic design work, but I don't have, like, that, that's uh, recurring revenue mm -hmm. that will allow me to do better projects in my design side. Um, because... You know, with design, it's like feast or famine. Exactly. And uh, and so I bought it from him, uh, thinking, oh wow, this this just uh, fixed everything. And well, funny enough, I was totally ignorant. Um, but like the purchase was great, mm -hmm. but I was ignorant to business, smart marketing, you, smart exactly. all that stuff. But you, you did what you knew best. And, right. and you need to be taught the rest. But like you, I was like, I don't know anything about finance. Yeah. I don't know anything about record keeping mm -hmm. and, and all that stuff. And so in my first year, I got in, I got in big trouble. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I owed taxes. I, I, I had no idea what that was even about. Uh, and, and all that stuff. And mutual friend, Laura Lee, uh, that's that's kind of where Laura Lee came into my life was exactly was I was like hey I don't know what the heck I'm doing and how many times <laughs> do people say to you do what you know best to do which you're a marketing guy right yeah, yeah. and hire out the rest yeah. well that's not so easy when you're a new entrepreneur because you're thinking I gotta do this like I gotta work you know 12 hour days because I can't afford to pay anybody but you know what you can't afford not to pay anybody bang on like that would be what I would tell my yeah. one of the things I would tell myself you know, today back then is like, mm -hmm. just go talk to mm -hmm. Get out of the at least a bookkeeper gate, right? or yep. an accountant. Somebody, Absolutely. it's not as expensive as one would no. think. They, they um, think, yeah. And even like uh, my son, who's a CPA, yeah. and I listen to him all the time talking about it. Before you start a business or even mm. buy an existing business, yeah. come and talk to an accountant, a professional yeah. person, yeah. because they'll look over the books if yeah. it's an existing one and tell you it's, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. If it's a brand new business, then they can say, okay, get in, like you don't have to pay GST for a certain amount of time, but yeah. maybe in that business, you might want to get your GST right. number right away. So they can help you learn and you know at the value that you'll get in there and plus they are there to help you oh, grow sure. your business 100%. they're not there to just give you a bill and if they are they're the wrong accounting people but uh, most people are going to help you mm -hmm. right and same mm -hmm. as a lawyer you need to get the name yep. and everything proper um no different than as you would know yeah. a facebook yeah. name yeah because the very time first time i had facebook they just put it as honkers pub yeah and no we're honkers pub and eatery right because if you don't put an eatery you don't know that we're an actual restaurant right, right. <laughs> so when it came out the gate on honkers pub then i had to try to change it and as you know how hard is it to change something yeah. that you picked a name yeah so you got to pull back the reins, stop, think about <laughs> think what you're doing, because you're so excited when you're starting a business yeah. that you just want to, like, go, guns. Yeah. Well, doing this as long as you have, you clearly overcome some obstacles. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I think I've crossed some hurdles and jumped back <laughs> through hoops. And But you know what? Like you said, I'm still learning, and I will continue to learn, even at 25 years into this particular mm. business. Um, there's things that I would say, why did I do that? Yeah. And I love to tell people when they come to me and ask for any advice, I'll say, I did this, and I made this mistake, and I shouldn't have, so skip that part, yeah, yeah. and then move on to something else. Like One of the things I always tell people, um, if you really want to work somewhere that's an existing business, yeah. 
or uh, have a business similar to it, yep. go work in it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. You know, uh, work Learn in it, it, define it if you really want to do it because it looks glossy on the outside, <laughs> right? Oh, uh, she owns a bar and eatery. Oh yeah, she can sit and have drinks and eat anything she wants or whatever. And I've even had people say when I work a lunch hour with some of the staff, because I work with my staff, yep. you know, uh, right you are. evenly, I'm, I'm with them. Yep. Like that's why I have gravy on my shirt, right? Because I was serving today. <laughs> Anyhow, so then, um, yeah, you work with them and then you learn everything yes. that there is to do. Yep. So, you know, but I always say get involved because that might not be what you really want in totally. the end. And you might go and work that and go, whoa, that's not for me. Because they also see the ups and downs. They see the hiring and the firing and the product shortage and the product. They see all the stuff and then they will learn. And then you really have a good time. Would you yeah. ever let anybody just like, I guess, ghost uh, uh if, if they were going to start a business no no no, no <laughs> but if they were just looking yeah. like they're yeah, interested they wanted, in the restaurant yeah like getting into a if somebody was, or whatever and absolutely they just weren't sure so they didn't want to like yeah, commit they, your money or yeah. their their time necessarily it's like hey can i just come check it out for a day oh, and, yeah. they and just see call what, it hosting yeah. and if they want to host with or whatever we actually it's we have we have our own little concept yeah. so when we hire people we have them work uh, a three-hour shift a minimum oh, three-hour shift yep yeah. Right off the bat, yep. and then we sit down with them. Did you like it here? And they tell us what yeah. they liked, yeah. and then we'll say, and then we say, this is what we're looking for, and me, we really like you, but la la la. Yeah. And they would say, I really like it, but okay, can we work together? Yeah. Then we move on. So we kind of do a two-step interview. Yeah. If we think they have the potential, but maybe they uh, have the common sense, which is great. That's a big plus. Absolutely. <laughs> and the personality. Yep. Then you can be trained. Yep for the skills, right? But if they have the skills and they got no personality and no common sense, then we kind of go, you're a great person, yeah. and but it, you're just not the fit for yeah. us. Yeah, no, that's true. And, they do, and we want them to say the same thing, because how many people have started a job and then all of a sudden realize like, this is not for me, and they're too scared. Right. They're too well, scared to quit. You said the but, right? Did yeah. you like it, but, and, and that's probably even a learning opportunity for you. Oh yeah. Because sometimes that outsider coming into your business it's like i like this but yeah and it's like hi i didn't think about that i know uh or i didn't realize that was happening or mm -hmm. maybe it did but it just required a small tweak oh, right so <laughs> and even when we have new staff that uh front or back of house yeah say front of house and they come with us and and we go okay so we hire them we go okay i know you came from another place awesome so you have your own ways of doing things yeah your, our way not, might not be the right way or the best way. Yeah. So if you have an, a different approach to doing something that we're currently doing, and maybe it's a shortcut on time or something, let us know about it mm. and we'll talk about it because yeah. maybe that's a better way for us to do it. Yeah. And, but maybe it isn't. So it's all open. So we talk about yeah. it and so that they feel like they come from working somewhere else, like maybe they moved here from Vancouver. Yeah. This is how we did it in Vancouver and it worked. I said, yeah. perfect, well, let's try it here. But then maybe it's not because Lethbridge and Vancouver are two totally different you know, um, atmospheres. Yeah. So maybe it didn't work, but it's always, and then they feel good that they brought something to the table. Well, you're learning. Absolutely. Going back to what you said earlier, yeah. right? Like They teach me, staff teach me things. It's constant learning. I think mm -hmm. a misconception, maybe it's a misconception, yeah. but misconception is like, all right, you're a business owner. You have all the answers. Yeah, I don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, res you know, I just, the, just the staff help me. There's the time. And I also believe if you, if you have the opportunity to work yeah. with your staff, um, if I can work with my staff, I learn some of their tricks. Yeah. They learn some of my tricks, right? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of great. And I, and I mean, tricks is in helping tricks, you know, like no. helping the business. Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, you're, but, you're but even you're learning like some of the some of the areas that staff need, yeah, uh, or could use like some efficiencies, uh, efficiencies in the way things Absolutely. are touched, handled, yeah. whatever, right? Where they're placed, even mm -hmm. uh, that saves another 10, 15 seconds. That just makes someone a better worker, the customer has a better experience. Totally. So on, so on, right? Yeah. So. And when I come out onto the floor, it's their floor, I look at the person and they'll say, hey, I need some help. I say, well, what do you need? Yeah. And they say, can you clean up this table? You got it, yeah. right? It doesn't mean that I have any more power than, I said, I'm a, I'm a person, I'm a body, and <laughs> I'll go it. clean up that table. That just happened today. I walked in from a meeting and they, they got hammered today, which was great. 
what do you need? Uh, I need you to go and pour some coffees and you got it. Tell me what to do. And that, that's giving them, that's their floor, they're in charge, they know what's going on, the flow works better because we're communicating. We're saying, you do this and you do that, perfect. We don't, we always say, I'm sorry, forgive me, I apologize, now we're all done, let's keep going, so, right? Because so, you're in a rush. Oh, totally. Yeah. But if I'm hearing you correctly, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I'm hearing from you, if we're giving advice to people that are aspiring to be entrepreneurs and so on as well, you know, not, not to be, beyond getting in the trenches. No. Right? You're like you just Dive said. In. I got gravy on my shirt. That's I'm right. helping my team. <laughs> uh, and so so you know not not to kind of just think that once you're the business owner. Yeah. Th like sometimes people think it's a title, right? Yeah. A and and it's and it's not a title. Yeah. It's a responsibility yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, and so getting in with your staff and and being in the trenches with them, like that's a that's a big deal. It's and it makes me feel good. Like I would like people to come in to our restaurant yeah. not knowing who the owner is. Right. Like I want because I want them to treat the staff as if they would treat the owner. Right. Mm. So that's how I've always said. And when we do interviews, um, even my manager Chelsea, yeah. same thing. She'll come out and do anything. Is they don't. It's actually even one of the staff members, if I'm not here, they'll say, are you the owner? And that makes me feel very proud because oh. that means that they see that that person, that staff member is being mm. respected as well, right? Mm. So they should, everybody should act like an owner, right? And, and I mean, the owner that I mean is work with everybody, not yeah. sit on the corner and boss no, everybody no. around. There are a few like that, and yeah. that's okay. Maybe that's how they like to run their business. That's not how I'm always here. If I'm a body and I know how to serve, well, then why am I not out there helping? Right, mm. but I always go out and say, "Is every all the order? If 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 there's only a few um, people and we don't need a whole, don't need me coming yeah. out serving, I'll always say, "Is every all the orders in? Good. Well, then I'll just go out and talk to my customers because that, I don't want to take away a spot because if I walk up to the table, they know I can serve, so they'll start giving me their food. Yeah, right. And yeah. I'll go. I'll wait till their orders in, then I'll go talk to them. Like, you know, mm. thanks for coming in. How's it going? You just said something yeah. that resonated with me, though. Honestly, I'm gonna remember that. Yeah. Like, just. Gosh, just the fact that you said when they ask somebody if they're the owner, yeah. that's actually pretty powerful. And they should all act like owners. So it, Because they really, if it wasn't for them, like they own their spot, well, right? Well, what have you done? And maybe this is a good like segue to mm -hmm. that. Like, what, is there something that you've done outside of just like obviously working hand in hand with them, but like have you done something that, that helped them understand what working like an owner means? Am kind I asking of, that properly? Maybe? Yeah. Um, when what, if we're interviewing people, we just say we're we work as a team. Yeah. There's no there's no division in the back or the front. So if they're swamped in the front, then we ask in the back of the house, hey, can you help? Can you bring some beer out? Can you yeah. help clear some tables or whatever? Okay. They feel the pride of being part of a team, right? Gotcha. And vice versa. If the kitchen got swamped and they can help. Uh, make a salad really quick with them that's doing it okay. because and then we say there's no there's no manager showing up there's no manager standing mm. there doing this 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 everybody has a turn because mm. me asking my employers what I can do for them during a lunch hour yeah. and people will hear that what do you want me to do and there's times where they say well I spilt a bunch of coffee and pop can you go get the mop you got it <laughs> what makes it. me any different than I them right it. so I'll go get the mop and, and clean up there I said you just keep working because you know what a lot area. of people that wouldn't do and that and I'll just go get the mop and clean it up and they will do the same for me so if I spilt something I'm like, crap I spilt something yep. and I'll go I'll get it and they go it's okay I my section's yep. slow I'll got grab your it back. for you got your back so to me how would you know who would be the owner and who would be the server if I was mopping the floor yeah. when you came in because we all should be like that. And we have a full-time janitor who is amazing as well. And yeah. she helps out when we're in a lunch rush. In fact, she did today. So she awesome. changes her hats and she's in the back helping just pour gravies or whatever because we're all equal. We're all there to help as one big team. And when we get done, we go, good job, everybody. You know, everybody was, did, we worked as a team. Aww. And you'll hear people just spat back and forth in a good week. Like, get to that. Can you get that? And, and people go, holy crap, they're ordering each other. No, no, it's com called communication. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In our world, you it's guys like are synced communication. Up and... It's got to yeah, talk about it. Yeah. And I encourage that in no matter what. You have someone walk into, say, a dress store, yeah. and all of a sudden you go, whoosh, you got all kinds of people. Well, you're behind the till, and you want to go help them. It's just like, a, hey, I got the door. Can you grab so-and-so? 
what's worse than somebody yeah. else standing behind the till just standing there and people come. I hate that. Exactly. You <laughs> don't like that. it. No different than they come in because you know, we're trying to do the, you know, the good old five second Walmart mm -hmm. greeting. Even if we're behind the yeah. bar on the till and. Just so that they know, hey, I see you. I see you. Wave at them. Hi, yeah. how are you? As long as you're acknowledged. Hi, I'll be right with you. Yeah. I'm just, I'll be there in a minute. It makes you feel good. Yeah. Right? But if you stand there for a while and no one wants to look at you, you kind of go, well, I'm, really, I, I'm, I'm not interested. I'll turn around. <laughs> right? So, yeah. yeah. Well, so one of the things that I really wanted to kind of ask you and, and see if you had any insight on was, like, a lot of times I find that, especially new people starting a business, I think they have a difficulty relating with, well, let's just say someone that's been in business for 30 years. Mm -hmm. Because for them, they're seeing the you now, yeah, right? right. They're seeing Vicky today, yeah, and, and it's like, well, easy for her to say, yeah. You know, she's got the world on a string. Uh, she doesn't have any problems. She doesn't have any, you know, struggles to overcome. It's just, mm -hmm. it's a visual. People don't yeah. know what they no. don't know, right? No. And mm -hmm. and so I guess I would ask you, like, from from that perspective, if if you're talking to someone who's just starting out in in whatever business they're starting mm -hmm. out in, uh, do you have do you have some advice for that person? You know what? One of the best things would be don't take everything to heart. Well, don't take it personal. If someone doesn't like your food or your product or whatever, whatever you're doing, it is, yeah. they may just not like it. Everybody's individual, mm -hmm. but just because they don't like it, it's not your fault. It's not, don't take, yeah. like when I first started, I took everything personal. <gasps> <laughs> they didn't like this. What did they like? Oh my gosh, we've got to correct it. Okay, I need to a promo with this and yeah. I need to do this and I need, oh, I have to do this. And you get yourself so worked up, you don't know if you're, and you're spinning, right? Because you want to please everybody. You just got to do the best that you can. Yeah. You got to try to please everybody. Like I always say to the kitchen in the back, you guys are doing great today. You're doing really good and you're pounding out the food, king in there, you can do it. And all the customers are happy. And if they're not happy, I guess it's too bad because we're working our butts off and we're working hard. So that gives them that encouragement. Yeah. Okay, the orders are coming in because it's up to us in the front say, okay, it's going to be a little bit longer because there's 20 people ahead of you. Well, right? that gives them a kind of like, a, okay, we're then okay. Then they can relax. Yeah. And if they say, you know, I'm in a hurry to go. Uh, okay, then fine. We'll get you something quick. Yeah. Get, yeah. get you something quick to eat that we can pump out. But to tell a new Ooh. entrepreneur, and again, uh, you're, if you have selling a product, yeah. they'll say, customers are always right. Customers are right. Well, we all know customers are not always right. Ooh. In my industry, like that advice. customers are not always right because customers might have had a couple drinks and then the <laughs> customer is not right. But even if the... No, I, but even, I, but when goes, I learned that, that goes in every case, it right? does. And you always have heard that. I mean, think that that was drilled into your yeah. mind as a, a person that customers are all right. They are, but the world has changed where yeah. there's so many different ways to do, like people may take a picture on a cell phone right. and say, uh, look what I found on my food. Right. Yeah. Okay. Was that placed by you because you want the attention or you yeah. want something? So I always say to my staff, I will back you 100%. Just make mm. sure you're right. Well, that's good. You know? That's good advice. So I tell that to people and I go, and so then I say to the staff, if there's an issue and I'm not here, you call me right away. So you can tell me what's going on and what happened, and then I will deal with it. Then I will talk to the customer, give them my cell number. Yeah, my yeah. cell number's on my cards. They can call me. So I like I, sometimes I get a customer telling me and they'll go, blah, blah, blah. I had a customer phone me to complain about me. Yeah, because he didn't know. I was the owner. <laughs> so he came in and he uh, had a few cocktails beforehand. Anyhow, I served him and uh, he didn't he didn't like his food and I said, okay, I'll change it and change it and it came back and he said it again and I go, no, this is the way it's cooked. Yeah. You know, the cheese is not melted in the clubhouse. It doesn't right. get melted on top of a tomato. It's it's just a slice of tomato yeah. or a slice of a cheese. A slice of cheese, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so then he uh, said, I'm going to report you to the manager. I said, okay, go ahead. So I handed him my card. <laughs> and at that time, I didn't That's have my name stuff. tag on. And I handed him my card. And I said, go ahead, phone the manager. <laughs> yeah, she'll talk to you. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, and he goes, okay, he left. I got a phone call. I answered. Do you recognize your voice? No, didn't recognize my voice, right? And uh, he complained and I says, yeah, but you actually got a free sandwich out of it, I understand. And really it's a clubhouse and the cheeses are not melted on the top. So they replaced it and then they gave you another one. And yeah, so I don't understand the problem. And he goes, well, she was just, you know, really cranky and whatever. I said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll talk to that person. Right? Meanwhile, it was you yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Then, then they actually came back in 
a couple hours later. Where they had been, I don't know, but they were a little bit more happier. You know, they actually came in and I was in the back. And when I came out, he pointed at me and he goes, that's the girl. <laughs> and then I said, oh, hi, you're back again. Yeah. And then I said, you know what? I just think you need to leave here because uh, we are really, you know, yeah, we respect yeah. our customers yeah. and you're causing a disturbance. And I'll have to tell you that I am the owner. Right. And then his face yeah, went, right. what? <laughs> and I said, yeah. And you know what? Maybe you could stay away for 30 days until you kind of yeah. respect cool the off people. And come back. Because if you did this to one of my staff, I would actually have to tell you, you have to stay away for right, a while. Right, right. Yep. And he came back after, and he's been a really good customer. Probably one of, the, probably one of your he's best. Good. Yeah. So that's why I don't want people to know. Yeah. And that's why I advise people. Be a worker. Like, if yeah. someone's going to start a business, unless it's a one-person business, yeah. but work there, get a feel of those customers, yeah. right? Because that's why... In that incident, the customer wasn't right, right? right? You know, yeah, because yeah. I was a sober one, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And then, and it's not just that because no, there's different industries you, too. You can't. No, the point is, is you can't please everybody, you can't. right? And, yeah. and you're going to run into customers, regardless of what industry. That even even if you're delivering excellence, totally, uh, excellence will yeah. not ever be good enough. Totally. So, and I as think, an entrepreneur, if you do what you feel is a good job, yeah. and your team did a good job remain that yeah. say i did a good job they did a good job yeah, you and you know what that. and own it yeah and right own and it. then don't feel bad about it and that's that's i i always had that guilt oh my gosh that person's going to be mad and you know i i didn't work do it right you, you can't walk away because you got to learn how to, to stop that yeah because that'll haunt you well be uh, well you were in promotion i'm in yeah i'm naturally in sales too right yeah. and i feel like a lot of times anybody who's getting into the sales field it's like Oh, like someone said no to me, so it means like they don't like what I'm selling. They mm -hmm. don't like me. They don't like, and you can internalize that oh, really, totally. really fast. And uh, well, actually, I don't know if you know this story or not, so I'll share it with you. But my my today's biggest customer uh, actually told me to get out of their office uh, for about three years on a monthly basis. So I would go every month, and I'd be like, "Hey, it's me again," and he'd be like. Get out of my office. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. I don't, I'm not yeah. interested in yeah. what you're, you know, whatever it is you're selling. And so I would keep coming back, keep coming back. And finally one day, you know, he just said, all did right. Call you? What's that? Or did you go in? Or no, no, it's still like, I didn't stop going yeah. in, right? Good. Like talking about the tenacity yeah. of like, yeah. I want this guy's Good. business, right? Yeah. And, uh, and finally it's like, okay, I'll give you five minutes to talk to me now. Good and, for you. But I mean, that took three years. Yeah. Three years. And, that's, and good, because you kept trying. And it, some people, they're not in the right space. They're not in the right time. Maybe yeah. you don't know what happened to them right. that day. Maybe they just lost an important manager yeah. or something happened that they don't know. And you don't know, so you might have been coming in always at the wrong time. Right. But good for you to keep pursuing it. And that's why I would say keep pursuing something. Yeah. If you really wanted that business and you know that you could make a difference for yeah. that business, like you in promotions, yeah. obviously, yeah. then you just keep pushing. You know, and, and they, they'll tell you if you're being yep. too pushy, but I, I admire for doing that. Good for you. Yeah. So, well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you get into this for the money? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know what, to be honest, so there was times where I had to hold my paycheck back. Yeah. Yeah. Many, many, many times, right? And calculate what I needed on sales that day to pay bills that were due. And looking at all the bills that were due, and because when I first started, the industry was totally different. Okay. The industry was, uh, a, you know, everybody was out after work having drinks, and mm. we were full, and you know, um, people were eating, and yeah. then the industry changed again, and then laws changed again, and then, uh, you know, all th everything's yeah. changed, and that's just part of well, life. Yeah. And to be honest, it was a man's world to be an owner. Like well, I used well, to have people come valid. up to me, and uh, my husband was sitting at the bar or something, they'd walk up and they'd say, so are you an owner? And he'd say, no, because he knew better to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> nope. it was my my business before I met him. Anyhow, he was he knew not, but they just said, oh, well, where is he? Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. I get that a lot. And then I'd turn around and say, it's a she. It's a, and it's a me. Good for you. Right, and it's a me, right? So, you. and it's okay. And I'm, I don't, I'm not into no, no. anything. I don't no, care no. and I'm not looking for accolades. It's no. just that when I started, that's what it was. So. I had a little bit of difficulty yeah. getting some trades. In fact, here's the story. Yeah. When I worked in television, it was called Lethbridge Television, so that's aging me, because that's what it was. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll edit yeah. that out. <laughs> Anyhow, so uh, uh, I would 
I w in promotions and I was in charge, we changed our name so much yep. that we needed signage all the time. Oh, shit. All the time, man. <laughs> we spent so much on signage. Anyhow, so this one sign company that I was working with, I, when I wanted to start, you know, Honkers, yeah. I went to them because I'd worked with them. They gave me good work. Yeah. And I went to them to get a quote. They wouldn't quote. I wouldn't give me a quote back. And I kept, and then I'd go back and said, did you lose my, my note or my caller? Like, why didn't you quote? And I kept going back. Yeah. I go, okay, I need to get some signage from my business. Yeah. Why are you not quoting? And you know what he said to me? You'll never make it in this business. And I said, what? I said, there, after all there this, was a few oh yeah, that right was there. like, don't do this to Vicky because I'm going to show you, buddy, right? <laughs> so when I hit my 25th birthday, I wanted to phone him and say, oh, sir, you're out of business. I was going to try to get a hold of you, but you're not in business anymore, right? And you know, and I thought, but that's again. That's a sad story. The, the, it's a sad story, but it made, I mean, like, it's put some more fire on it. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry that you lost out on me because guess what? I've changed and I've done different things and I've had right. signage and I know a lot of people. So did I recommend him to anybody? So. Nada, <laughs> nada. But it's okay. That's okay. But you know what? Don't ever tell anybody you don't believe in them. You know, because especially if I was had nothing to do with the money of the signs, yeah. I had my money ready to go, but he just didn't think... I was gonna make it, and I don't know if you thought that he, I wouldn't be able to pay the the bill. But it's just like believe in people. I mean, yeah. help them if they're yeah. a brand new entrepreneur. Like we're all so excited when oh, we're totally. opening something, and it's just like our idea da -da 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 -da. is the greatest thing on the planet. And Absolutely, it's that it's kind of excitement. It's the right? best name, yeah. and as you know, yeah. they go, "That's a terrible name." That, right? Yeah, but that's just in your mind. Yeah. You're like, "I want this I is the best thing ever. Everyone's yeah. gonna buy it from me." You know, I got the best thing going. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then bang. <laughs> exactly. It's like reality sets in. But ask people. Yeah. Do a lot of networking. Networking is mm, wonderful. I know you're Lethbridge, a big fan of that. I'm a big bit networker. Y you are. That's big. helped me. Networking's helped me survive through all the ups and downs. I have an amazing advisory group that I hang out with once a month. And I encourage people to get into a, a little group that they can. And we're a, a group of women, and we had some men in there. Yeah. And we've moved around. I think we've been together for 18 years. But anyhow, we get together once a month, and we all talk about business. So you mm -hmm. would talk about yeah. your promotions. Yeah. I would talk about my pub and eatery. Yeah. They would talk about their accounting or yeah. whatnot. So we all have different problems, but you and I are on the outside of that, say, that accounting yeah. business, so we could give them a little bit of yeah. business advice, right? Yeah. How to do it. And we have a thing you had to be in business for like five years so that you had been through the trials and tributes of getting going, because yeah. we know the magic rule, you know? Yeah. If after five years, yeah. you should be set. Right? Theoretically speaking, Theoret but yes, yes. That, that's you kind should of be the there magic you, number. Yeah, it's like 96% like of businesses exactly. fail in the first five years yeah. or something like that. So <laughs> I encourage people, so if they're new, get together with people from mm. a different business. Obviously not your competition, but somebody else who can is in business. And if you can get a few senior people to help yeah. you out, great, you know? And then you start building that because, like I said, I'll always learn. And if I'll learn from new entrepreneur and because yeah. they're going to be more technical than I was when I started. Yeah. I mean, uh, with they're all the different... They're just pretty fresh ideas. It's Absolutely. just a fresh approach, right? And they, and they could be like uh, their, your own customer to yeah. tell you from the outside. What do they see, right? You know, you're and it's right. Just Sometimes you just don't know. Like, you're, you're, you're in your day-to-day, -day, yeah. you're doing your thing, and all of a sudden somebody new walks in and it's like, oh, I, I didn't... I wasn't looking at it I from know. that perspective. And, and even the new logo that you guys designed for us, right, <laughs> that's not released, I took it to my meeting. Right. And I said, okay. What do you guys think? Ladies, what do you think of this? <laughs> you take the good and the bad. They and just, they just, they all told me what they thought of yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. And it was like, good, you know, because they are looking at it from a different thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I see orange. Yeah. Uh, so let's to circle back to okay. something here. Sure. Uh, I was going to ask you, again, kind of going back to like, the, the, that people sometimes often don't relate. And I don't know if I'm asking you the question good, but what do you think some good first steps are? Because like a lot of times what they're struggling with is, you know, lack of money, right? They have this idea. Uh, maybe they don't have a ton of money. Um, whatever the case might be, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever the hurdle might be. And, and so... I guess in just your own world, like, what do you think are some of the first steps that somebody should just take to get started on that passionate journey of entrepreneurship, if that's what they want to follow? Yeah. Go out and network. Hmm. Network. Um, as you know, I'm very passionate about BNI, yeah. which is yeah. Business Network yeah. International. 
come out to a, a chapter meeting and listen. Just listen to the other yeah. businesses and, and pick up the vibes mm -hmm. of what they're doing. And then maybe just ask them, if you, hey, do you got time to grab a coffee sometime and chit chat? Mm -hmm. um, just like pull back the reins because we get so excited mm -hmm. that we're, we're jumping at going forward. Just pull it back a little bit and ask people if this is what I would have done. Yeah, yeah, Me, yeah, yeah. when I was 25, yeah. right? I would have said, okay, is the name right? Well, Pellet Pleasers Catering Service? Well, that's like a yeah, big, yeah. It was, like, I would have it was long. it. It was long, long. Try to put that on a, a logo type yeah. thing. But I would ask people, what's your opinion? Yeah. Uh, this is my name. What do you think? Right? What do you think of that? And maybe to a promotion person or whatever. And because, let's say I came to you and say, okay, I want to start a business yeah. and it's called whatever, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could go, oh, interesting. Cool. And I would say, <laughs> what do you think of this name? And you'll go, well, what is it supposed to mean? <laughs> well, it's funny, actually, that we yeah. wish more people yeah. did that. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, Instead right? of just grabbing the name yeah. and going with it. And it's, yeah, it's the initials of my two kids. Yeah. And they'll, okay, because they always say, think of the future. Yeah. If you wanted to expand that and be, you know, branded out more, where are you going to be, right? Yep. And yep. same as when I talked about the Facebook page, right? So talk to people in the professionals like yourself. Talk to an accountant. Yep. They give 30-minute free consult. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's true, actually. I'm A sure if you guys, if does. they came in to talk to you, you'd probably help them out and say when you're ready. We always do, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you guys are ready, we'll help you out. But this is what you need to look at, right? Talk to somebody that might have been in the industry. Talk to somebody who's retired from that industry. Yeah, you're like, getting like a lot of different, uh, so even yeah. for you in networking, regardless of, of even a group for that matter, yeah. I, if I guess the advice is kind of like, it's it's an opportunity to test your ideas. Yes. If you get into some sort of a, yeah. you know, or, or or just talk to some business people and be honest and say, mm -hmm. hey, I'm thinking of doing this, like, what do you think? Mm -hmm and just testing out your theories. We used them. to call them round tables yeah, yeah. back in my day. Yeah. And we would sit and you'd try to get somebody from a different industry come to the table and say, okay, this is my idea. Yeah. And you you pitch it mm -hmm. as if you were pitching it to a bank to right, get a right. loan. This is my idea. And you just, you and you got to take the criticism that comes from everybody. And they may say, I'm uh, not sure, you know, but you can't pick your friends. Right. Don't pick your friends because right. your friends will say it's a good idea. Yeah, no, and actually, that is actually pretty powerful. And I don't think enough people know that, how do I say it? I don't think, so new people starting a business, I don't think they understand that we're actually more accessible than they think. Yeah. And that, that business people in the community are actually willing to sit yeah, down well, and have a conversation totally. and say, hey, like, I'll tell you about yeah. why this is what, what the cons and the pros are of doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, it's your decision what you're going to do. Absolutely. But, yeah. but, but I, I'll give you a few, you know, I'll give you a yeah. few tips. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean you're giving away, you know, your secret sauce no. or anything like that. No. But, yeah. but, you know, you're, you're, it's surprising how many uh, young entrepreneurs might be just scared to reach out to a business and say, you know, I'm thinking about getting in the restaurant industry or I'm yeah. thinking of getting in the marketing industry. Like, what, what are some things I just got to avoid doing out of the gate and, yeah. and that's enough to, to yeah. help? And they, and they have to also know is don't go to a, a competitor well, and yeah. Yeah. open up. And uh, people have said to me, hey, yeah. can you help me? I want to start a restaurant across the street. And I go, no. No. <laughs> that, yeah, that's a little different. <laughs> you know, sure. <laughs> uh, I owned a liquor store for five years. Okay. We built it from scratch. Um, and I wanted, and I did a lot of work on it, and it was just over um, on Memograph North. And so people say to me, hey, I, I know a friend, and he wants to open a liquor store. Great. And I said, well, Ooh. I did it for five years. I got a lot of experience. It. That's good. I said, but also people don't take advantage of those mm. like so they said can you tell me all the pros and cons I said yeah I could I said but I'm also that takes time from my yeah, work yeah, yeah. did you want to like pay me for something to yeah, do yeah. I'd be glad to sit down yeah. but to uh, buy me a cup of coffee yeah. so I can tell you everything that yeah, happened well, yeah. I go no yeah. so they also have to realize because there's yeah. people I there's and as much as I wouldn't say absolutely I'm gonna help you but then all of a sudden I help them for two or three hours guess what yeah I'm working the extra two or three hours at night to do no, my own yeah. work and but some people, I get those calls. Uh, I, I think, hey, I got a buddy. Can you tell him how to run it? I go, no. I think my <laughs> advice to those people would be, if you are going to reach out and ask for that, you know, come come prepared. Yeah. You know, with with the with the you know one two questions that are the ones yeah. that are kind of haunting you. Yeah. Because yeah, you're you are and dealing. I for sure I would you're help dealing with way. a business owner, so yeah. they have limited time. 
and y you might get 15 minutes out of them, not yeah. three hours. Yeah, out of them. yeah exactly. <laughs> well, and you know, like there's a lot of people that'll say, hey, can we grab lunch and we're gonna, I'm going to pick your brain for a minute. Well, you'll lunch go, Lunch is well, a long time. That's a long time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. And it's during my busiest time yeah, for you. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, last, kind of one of the last parts, okay. you know, uh, I hate to touch on COVID, but, yeah. but, you know, for, in my mind, COVID was an opportunity, I mean, it was, a detriment yeah. to a lot of businesses, but it was also an opportunity for business people to look inside. Oh, totally. To maybe the right word is reinvent themselves yeah. and and reinvent the way they think about their businesses. Hundred percent. And so you are in an industry that obviously I was, got hammered. Yeah, <laughs> you were in an industry that got hammered. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. no easy way to it say was it. Just, yeah, I know. As much as I kept saying, "No, it's, it's not," it it happened. Yeah. And I was really happy that I survived it. Like, and if it wasn't for Like, the I'm sure there was tears. Oh, my there gosh. There was tears. <laughs> I've never been told that I had to shut down my own doors, yeah. right? And as an owner, you know, if you look at the bank account and it's draining and you, you kind of get yeah. a feeling for it. But when someone actually says to you, you have to close, and it's like, what do you mean I have to close? I felt guilt. Oh, I reached yeah. out to my staff. We we were going to close that night, and I was in tears. And I go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because they were losing their jobs. Yeah. I felt so guilty, and I just felt it was all my fault because I had no control over it. Yeah. And I don't mean I mean control because yeah, I no. couldn't have them work. Yeah. And that was that was a hardship because I knew oh. I had to lace. And I had some single girls oh. like that had single parents, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I thought, oh my gosh, what am I gonna? So I, I needed to help them. Yeah. So the very first time, as I open up my fridge and deep freeze, I said, what do you need? And this one oh. girl says, I I could use some like food because oh. my boyfriend's laid off and I'm oh. a server. Servers don't make a lot of money, oh boy. right? Uh, so whew. gave them here, here, take a box. Let's. Pile you up. So the very first time, because we had fresh food yeah. and we didn't know what was going on, piled people up and had them come. I made a private appointment for them. Meet yeah. me at the pub. I'll take you to the kitchen. And here's it. It's between me and you. Yeah. No one needs to know yeah. where you got this from because I'll help whoever. Yeah. Yeah. Then we started taking some meals to some of our customers that um, older uh, people that were stuck in their homes. And we dropped off some of that because we needed to feel useful. And we had product that had to be used. Well, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. I could have given it. Was either it going to, in the garbage or had to well, go to the Well, I could have given it to the food bank, but yeah. you can't give poor, you can't give soup that you've made right. to the food bank because yeah. it doesn't have all the ingredients yeah. listed. So yeah. we we did that. So we needed to feel that we were helping because we all of a sudden got closed that this is what we needed to do. So we did that. But I had to pivot and we had to figure out what to do. So even in the nest yeah. uh, where we're sitting today yeah. is. I had, it was flowing with meetings and weddings and events of all kinds. Well, boom, it just closed, Gone. right? All right, so what did we needed to do? Well, what's everybody doing? Zoom meetings. And how tired did you get of doing mm -hmm, Zoom meetings? Mm -hmm. So one of our fellows from BNI, AWC, yeah, yeah. we chatted with him. He had equipment that we could do Zoom and in person at the same time. Right. Okay, so those yeah, people your who couldn't, systems, exactly. Right? So we, we said, okay, what are we gonna do it? But guess what? That's very expensive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, do we want to put the money out to to do something we don't know that's gonna work when we're in a pandemic? Right, you don't, you don't even know if you're it's gonna like, I don't know. survive Am I gonna next make week. It? Gonna, but you know what? You gotta you, keep, you gotta keep believing, and there's there's no I in team. No. So my team, I talked to them, and I said, this is what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Should we do it? We're with you. We're going to hold with you. Because I had a good core group that stayed with me. There was true colors of some of the staff that couldn't run out the door fast sure. enough when they when they heard that sure. we got close. Sure. And that's going to happen. Yep. But guess what? It's like a forest fire, right? Yep. You got some new growth and you and yep. you hang on to the ones that missed the, yep. the fire. Yep. Yep. And that's okay. That's just time maybe that they needed to leave, yep. right? It was so up, yeah. we had a really good core that stuck with me through thick and thin. And I'm so thankful for that because they did, right? And so we made it work. We were stretched at some times because, that, okay, now we're opening. <laughs> da, 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 da. But we closed yeah. eight times in 18 months. <sighs> so we were up and down and up and down. One day we just got our food truck, $5,000 worth of food, and the next day they announced we're closing. It's like, now what? I can't give food away, right? So you freeze everything. So you're feeling like I'm in this perpetual cycle of... What the heck's going on? I'm ready on? to go. No, I'm not. I'm yeah. ready to go. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> but again, it's because of my networking and my B&I people and my yeah. chamber people and all of them. Yeah. They reached out to me and said, how can I help you? 
I said, do you want to buy some steaks? Do you want to buy some this product? Do you want to buy some right. of that? And they did, because then it wasn't dead money sitting there not being used. Sure, you could freeze it, but how long was this going to go on? Was it going to go on for a year? Well, then that'd be freezer burn, and we're not going to serve something that's like that, right? Because you could not, you had, I had to stop giving it away. Well, I think even in an email that I was included in from you uh, recently, Yeah. Uh, a, a My lady, community involvement? Uh, well, oh. a lady responded, and she's like, you're like you're a community builder. Yeah. So I would argue it's actually your community building uh, aspect that that just showed people your true colors and why they needed to support you. Because I hear this a lot, like support local, support local, mm -hmm. support local, right? You're a local business or you're not. And I get it. You can still be a local franchise owner and yeah. those kind of things. Oh, but, totally. But, but I think something that's... That, just people need to connect with these days is someone's actual like story. Yeah, oh for and sure. That's why I'm sitting here with you today because yeah. I, you know, I'm I'm hopeful that this helps somebody, you know, in whatever way it ends mm -hmm. up helping them. Yes. Uh, and and also uh, to get to know you, mm -hmm. uh, to get to know you and 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 have a local connection with when they're thinking about going to a a restaurant or a pub that it's uh, a local that they understand. Yeah the people that are behind mm -hmm. it and, and that it isn't just uh, glamorous mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that it glitz well, and glam yeah uh, but, and, and you know there's the, with all the frontline workers that were working is yeah. so hard you know during the covid and yeah. the things that they had to go with we actually went and we fed the firemen because we oh, had wow. food product that we fed the firemen we also had a customer that wanted to feed some of the firemen too so yeah. he did that um we felt like i community has been so good to me and yeah. I am a part of the community because I, I give back and I volunteer my time with the community too because I feel I need to be there because they're there helping me yeah. right so even different in the different times even when we had our break-in yeah. during November of yeah. COVID where they smashed through the front door and when I came through and they had the whole door or the whole entrance yeah. was missing I, I came around the corner and uh, the police were already here and I just said to myself I'm done yeah. I, I go, but I said the words, I am done. I can't do this anymore. We'd been in COVID since March. Mm. This was the end of November. We'd been clo up and down, and I just thought, I can't do this. That was like the last. <laughs> but when I turned around, and, I, and I, after I said that comment, yeah. and I saw some of my staff, I saw some of my musicians oh. who were here to do jams, saw it, a post on Facebook because someone said, look, it happened. Yeah. Here, sweeping up glass and doing stuff. And I said, it gives me the shivers even to this day. Oh. They were people that were standing there, people who would, uh, my camera guys, you yeah. name it, were all standing there. I turned around and I said, there is no I in team. I looked at all these people and I go, we got this. We You got doubted this. yourself for a moment. I, de I did. <laughs> and I, I was feeling sorry for myself when I said, I can't do this anymore. And then I looked at these people and I thought, wow, they have been through so much already in that six months of COVID. And they're standing there today supporting me on a Sunday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. And they're there. And I'm going, we got this. I I'd we say that's this. probably the biggest shift from like solopreneur to... I'm yeah, not saying you have the, to be big, but no, but, the more senior or but, more the but once the more, you get staff, uh, experienced, right? absolutely. Once you get once you actually get staff, like your your whole mentality yeah. shifts. It, it's not about you. It's like I have it a isn't. responsibility to these it people. Is. Exactly, because um, some of those people had to work. Yeah. If you're a, uh, a server at fifteen dollars an hour, what are you going to get for unemployment? Right. Can you feed your family? No, no, you're not. And another person that really encouraged me, and you know. We had both known him very well. I was Blaine, and that was my story about him. It was so true. That day he phoned me. He said, you got a minute to talk. I said, I am not happy talker today. I said, you're not going to get anything happy from me. He said, he says, no, no, this is from me, Blaine Higgin, personally. Yeah, yeah. Can I just talk to you for a minute? I said, okay, what, what do you got to say? And he said to me, you're a good community person. Uh -huh. Your place is a good community spot. I know it's devastating what happened to you today, and it wasn't about you. It wasn't about honkers, but you got to keep going. And you got nice. the support from us. And that's when that's why when he wanted he yeah, was yeah, gonna run. Yeah. And that was my story. And that's true. That's what happened. So I just and it made me feel so good. And then I had like Laurel and Carla yeah. and all kinds of my friends and Mandy and all kinds of people coming here that day. And you you got this. Like Laurel gives me a, a cup. Yeah. Brought me a cup and it said something about uh, heroes don't wear wings or something. I went, I looked at it and went, I you know, but <laughs> those are the kind of people that help an entrepreneur. Yeah. So if you're a new entrepreneur, 
talk to some people like that and yeah. talk about like we're doing yeah, right now yeah. talk about the bad stuff yeah because guess what we'll remember and laugh and go, oh yeah remember that happened holy crap that <laughs> happened remember that yeah that happened well and then we laugh stop. about it it doesn't really stop at the end of the no. day like uh, I, I got a chance to talk to someone in this morning mm -hmm. and and kind of noticing the patterns yeah. and I mean obviously being in business myself I get it too so it, it doesn't ever stop really no. uh, the fact that anybody thinks that at some point you're comfortable in your mm -hmm. business and that you're just like yeah I'm gonna ride on this you know flat perfect little coaster it's just it's easy yeah. street it's like no no it's <laughs> it's yeah it's like this all the time well, you know what that's what's in our blood and it yeah, goes yeah. and as an entrepreneur that's the joy the ups and downs I think if <laughs> not everybody's cut out to be an entrepreneur no. and then that's another thing with new people yeah. starting Give it a try. Yeah. If it's not your cup of tea, it's don't a, yeah, it's stress a, yourself out too much. But it's okay to try. It is. But learn a balance too. Yeah. You got to have a family balance yeah. somehow. Mm. My my two boys, I they're angels in their own way because they put up with a lot of crap. I when having the liquor store and the pub at the same time, mom was back and forth working and I was trying to take them to sports in between um, and doing everything. You know, they have the most patience that I know oh, because yeah. they waited for me. This is before cell phones, so they couldn't <laughs> sit in the car on cell phones. They'd do their homework or they would do something or I'd bring them into the office and they had to learn it. But they're very patient. True. Like, yeah, like. But, but I would imagine, I mean, how old are your kids? Now, like 29 and 30. Okay, so it would have been about the time you you started yeah helping, they were only right? they were only like three and five when they started and, and that's, when I started an, that's another part like I think entrepreneurs also need to understand like the work that you have to put in early on mm -hmm. that you might miss some stuff yeah yeah and it sucks but it does. yeah it does but it, it's part of building out something that becomes something mm -hmm. great it does uh, yeah and, and great doesn't necessarily mean it's the most money or anything no. like that just great because you love it yeah and how many times have you heard you get back what you put into you got to spend money to make money. Yep. Over and over and over. Over and yeah. over and over again. If you don't hire a promotion person to help you or an accountant to help you, yep. you're not gonna, you're not gonna get ahead in those things. You can't do it yourself. It's true. Do what you do best, right? So yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I like to talk, so I'll do that the best. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are the same. <laughs> we were born for the promotion cycle. We just. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and then you just think of ideas as you're talking to somebody. Hey, or I can see that and help you, right? Or hey, yep. I can help you. You know. Well, yeah. you know what? I I'm just uh, honestly I'm I'm happy that you gave me the opportunity sure. to talk to you yeah. today. Uh, for me, it's uh, one of the other reasons I wanted to do this was it was my way of trying to connect. Yeah. Um, I, I said this in an earlier uh, discussion with another business owner that one of my flaws is being able to um, connect on a personal level with mm -hmm. people. Um, it's not that I don't want to. It's yeah. just it's kind of the way I'm wired, I yeah. guess. And so yeah. something that I'm working on, and this was my way of being Good. able to say, like, I want to learn people's stories. Yeah. Uh, I want to learn people's hardships, yeah. their successes, and, and and hopefully help some other people that, you know, if anybody ends up watching this, yeah. uh, <laughs> that that, uh, that it might help at least one person. Exactly. Uh, and you know what? What out. does that make you feel good if, if it helps somebody? Yeah. It, maybe not right now, yeah. but maybe five years down the road, yeah. they'll remember somebody said something because yeah. I certainly did. Oh yeah, I remember things that people had said to me, um, and then I go, "Wow, I, that yeah, I remember that." <laughs> and st don't stop trying. Yeah, right. Um, we've tried maybe some promotions or yeah. some specials. Yeah. It didn't work. Maybe the timing wasn't right. Yeah. Maybe it just wasn't the time. Try it again. Right. Try it again. I mean, uh, I was I was lucky. I got to run the two and seven battleground. Like that's how yeah, back yeah. it goes. We had a riot doing it, right? <laughs> to reinvent that wheel right now, no, because it's not the same, right? People say, you should do Battleground again. Well, no, it's not the same. We had the little mobile production units. Yeah. Well, we don't have local programs, so you can't, mm. right? But maybe you could do something yeah, similar to like, yeah. yeah. There's like always... Mark Campbell was joking with me once because uh, <laughs> he was doing his Greeter Grammar yeah, yeah. show at the Yates which I just thought was awesome because I worked with him at the time he was working at the TV station. And then he said, we should do Battleground again. I said, oh, I love that job. That was so much fun. I said, we had such a good time. I said, it's good memories of it. I said, but uh, who knows? Give it a try in a different manner somehow. Yeah. So we do uh, um, amazing goose race or oh, yeah, yeah. goose chase yeah. just to do 
fall off of Amazing Race, but we do Wild Goose Chase, right? Wild so, Goose Chase, yeah. yeah. So you just kind of go with that idea. If it was fun, well, I, why reinvent the whole wheel? Yeah. Just do another yeah, try, promotion. Yeah, try something different. Yeah, yeah. And we do all kinds of different crazy events in here just to make us unique. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're an awesome yeah. lady. Well, thanks. You're yeah. an awesome yeah. lady. Yeah. Yeah. It's Th good to chat. Thanks for talking to me yeah. today, and hopefully, like I say, someone takes something out of your words of wisdom. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Thanks, Levi. Vicky. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.